he gets closer, the ball comes out of his hand. I'm bound, bound, I'm gonna He's slap somebody. If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna slap somebody. Is that gonna drop? Center, Taylor on the move to the alley. Nice grab on the run. Better subscribe. Gonna slap somebody. Getting guys across the plate, not exactly. On base percentage for tenth in the NL. Getting on base, I see. Third of the league in runs scored. Boogie becomes extremely frustrating, and then what happens is guys press, especially in run scoring opportunities and situations. And on top of that, I mean, you really make it harder on your pitcher. He feels like he's got to be perfect to go out there and win a ball game, or at least to put the team in a position to win a ball game. So they've got to figure out a way to relax, get those runners across when they have them on, and especially when they're in scoring position. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next one misses, and it's a ball to strike. Yeah, the right hander deals. Mm, I was on that. One and two. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number two. Two outs, that base is, is empty. Here's the Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Ace hit. Up the middle, Let's go. And that one finds its way through. And that extends the inning. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. First pitch, not close. Fifth in the NL, batting average. Getting up there. <laughs> Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Righty to the plate. There's a That's swing and a drive. Out of here. See you later. That's Adios, back. amigos. <laughs> Two here. runs. Let's get it. Paul baby, Goldsmith baby. His 22nd homer of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 2 0. We're tied for the division with the Brewers. Our rivals. We've taken the lead. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient. With two and outs. Paid off. In the upper deck. Oh, he caught that barehanded. Okay. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to Arnold, sign him. That is it. The shortstop, Paul DeYoung. That was ball. That one, 0 oh and 1. In the air, Ooh, crack and right you side. better not. <laughs> oh, look like a gaffer. It's a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. We go to the bottom of the first. Tommy Edmond at the plate. We talk about guys with good. It's you, Edmond, huh? Definitely he has it. But come on, on home field. For just cracking home second, runs. Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the Think most. twice, buddy. And they get Edmond for the out. And a quick out, number one. 
Hope you're enjoying your new team. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. Trader. This group was shut out their last game. So we're not talking about they got traded. You got traded last season. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off and your to number two batter is so doing you horrible. You feel like it could linger into two consecutive games, which no one he wants should to be, be bench. That's not even the MLB average, man. Looks at one down below. Are you still in the lineup? The why to kick the pitch. That's off the mark. Yeah, that's ball two. Goodness, three straight balls. And it's three and oh. What are you doing out here, man? And a pitch. Here's a strike. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Batting third. Run around at first with one gone. Here's Luis Arias. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. That one misses. And now it's even one and one. Oh my gosh, I was down the middle. Apparently you didn't like that pitch. Davis, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. He's going, he's runner going, on the goal. On the ground, out to short. On the run. Nice hop, bro. First. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. He got himself out of the double play. It's all right. Man, Chris, a jump throw like that is certainly worthy of the stat cast treatment. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boo. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. I mean, he made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make, especially with that much behind it. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Man, it's second. Comes you swinging at my boy. That's strike two. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Going two now. That one missed. One Runner at second. Two down. And a swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. They trail it here 2 nothing. Number 25, Sam Hillier. Burns back to work. Wow. Swings okay. and misses. And that is strike one. Nowadays, a too aggressive now. advanced metrics and aggressive defensive shifting. Defense isn't necessarily just about making errors. Are you able to get to balls? Are you able to two straight spots ball inside? Ball? Here comes a pitch. Good eye right there. And an error unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the this lines. This was four straight balls and I swung out two of them. And the righty deals. That one misses and a full count now. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? 
They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Colton Wong up to hit. Kicks and deals. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. You can in the dirt. Not in time. He's safe. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it and they bail you out. And now the Cardinals catcher, Tony Walters. And Boog, I'd say he's due. He yeah, must throw no strikes in the line. zone. And I'm swinging at him. And I'm helping him out. My goodness. Right-hander kicks, deals. And another ball. All right, thank you, Rusty. One out and a runner at second. Look at this. In the dirt. Damn. In there All safely. Right. Base hit, get him home maybe. Here we go. We ain't swinging. Cause he ain't throwing no strikes. And a four Look at pitch that. Walk. And here comes the pitcher. Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the, the zone. Pitcher, number 54, Sonny Gray. At the play, Sonny Gray. Right Strike one. Why do you do that? I know you got an RBI on your butt, but. We got hitters coming up, so you might as well just butt him over. You'll one. And ball one. Burns. One of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Runners are at the corners, one away. Bunting gets there we go. down to first. Cooper. The flip to the pitcher covering there for the out run comes in on the safety oh. squeeze. Oh, well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner at third. I didn't think he was going to go up there. Okay. Overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Well, that's one way to get a run in, I guess. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Akil Badu. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. And that one wrapped foul. Walters at second with two down. Line drive. Brings it it's in. right to him. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Cardinals three and the Brewers nothing. Be in the All-Star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Next pitch is downstairs. Boom. What's up with these arms not calling strikes? And he deals. And now three and one. Okay. Same pitch, same location. Now you want to call it? Yeah. 
And a swing and a miss. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. And that one is lifted in the air. Just had to move a couple Puts steps. It away, one away. Batting six. The first baseman, Garrett. And now it's Garrett Cooper, Cooper up to him. And the first offering is Jeez, my close. timing release is just off. Oh. They hit the catch. I mean, the ump. Um, the way he moved out the way. That foul tip back. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering in the dirt, and it's two and two. And a pitch. Got him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a no little anxious. Tyro. Taylor. Next for the Brewers, Tyrone Taylor. Oh. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a ground ball to first. Oh, Glover, boy. Let's go. And that ends the inning. Brewers go down quietly. They trail in this one 3 0. Track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Wow, that was a hot shot. Chapman over to first in time. And one away in the top of the third. The third baseman, Nolan. If I found a gapper, you would have been on base. Here's Nolan Arenado. I've been having hard hits and it's just finding people. First offering, and it just misses. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone mm. even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a Wasn't lot more recently. Sinker. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. Ah, that was a ball. Stays alive. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Gallo. Pretty deep. Towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Uh. Now batting, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate, third in the NL in RBIs this year. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Mm, no, if I wasn't late on that, that was a... Another home run for him. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. 0-2 now. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind of the pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. And a pitch. That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Pick one out right there. Batting nine. The pitcher. Torbay. Burn. And now the pitcher, Corbin And at 267, you kidding me? And first offering is fouled off. <laughs> and that's in for a strike. I just made you look silly. Take a seat, my boy. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you got to protect, baseman. and he just couldn't find Tommy. a way to fight it off. Edmund. Up now for Milwaukee, Tommy Edmund. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. In there at the knees. And the count one and one. Ooh, Edmund is on fire. His last six games, 370. Goodness. I can't even do that with you with the Cardinals somehow. On the ground, right side. And that is the third. I guess you're getting here. traded to Milwaukee. You just popped off. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still down, 3 nothing. And a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Now one and one. I ain't want that pitch. You gotta hang that for me to crush that, my boy. Righty delivers. And now two and one. That was it. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, Sam stay back on something off Hillier. speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. Sam Hillier will hit next. He reached out a walk his first time. And he swings Why? and misses at the initial offering. I should have known better because he is all over the place. He ain't hitting the strike zone. Left hand hitter waits. Swings through that one for strike two. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's oh, now that's three in a row. Yeah, he's that's really amazing. settling in and that's getting a feel for his pitches, long. throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs, base is empty. Colton Wong next up for the Cardinals. 
First pitch just misses. Two down, nobody on. And there's a ball. <laughs> That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Fouled off. He was late. And now you missed that. Enough. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Next pitch just misses, and that's ball three. Bounce to the right. Edmund over to pick it up, over to first. That ends the frame to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Cardinals three and the Brewers nothing. Gray back to work. Ground ball left side. Arenado to first. In time. That's how you like it. One, out, One quick out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill some worms while you're at it. Luis Urias getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets outs. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Ball to strike. And a swing and a miss Can't there. Touch it. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. The wind of the pitch. And oh, where did I miss? Misses. Two two now. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Kicks and fires. Bounced up the middle. Let's go. First, one, two, three. Gallo for the out. Come on, man. Start getting some hits. They trail it here, three nothing. Tony Walker. The pitch. There's the strike. Missed that. Yeah, the right hander deals. <laughs> Strike. Why are you missing these? That's a real nice cutter right there. They don't make this no sense. Struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. That one misses in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. 
Well, that's pretty much the dream two strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And Them first two pitches should not have been misses. Right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking that for. That second one was good timing. You swung right through it. Sonny Gray, next up for the Cardinals. First offering and it just misses. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Kicks and deals. Out front and foul to the left side. The 1 1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Right hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back to back strikeouts. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. A kill. The view. So the batting order turns over. Akil Badu next up for the Cardinals. In there wow. for strike one. One time I don't be aggressive and then you throw that. Good eye right there. Made a mistake. His seventh home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's four nothing. Sometimes too much velocity will cause a pitcher to throw through the sink, and that means that there's more four seam action than there is sink. And that that bad baby was really gone. Pitch to hit. Well, we that saw bat right flip. There. Didn't miss a stitch on that baseball. He's got himself a home run. Oh. Oh. Two outs, nobody on. Out. And now the center fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Ah, try to check swing. First offering is fouled off. Two outs. And that was the pitch. The pen down there. That's Alec sad on that. That would have been a back to back home run, man. And the 0 2. Ball one there. Oh! The 1 2. Mm. Foul ball, he stays alive. Offering is downstairs. Ah, late. Roll into first. Josh is going to cover the bag. He had to slide on that. That slider was down the middle.
The why the kick the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Tosses across the first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now back. The first baseman. Garrett. Cooper. Next for Milwaukee. Garrett Cooper. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In there and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. Got you swinging junk, man. You want to swing out another junk? You can do that for me. The Brewers hitless so far in the game. Oh, come on. So a man aboard now with Let's snatch win. that. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two now strikes. Textbook back control right Tyler. there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep Tyler. into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the field. This crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now, Tyrone Taylor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Cooper, the base runner at first with one out. Jesus, two pitches are leaving over the plate. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. The pitch. On the ground, could be two. Over to DeYoung. On the first Let's get it. Play, and that's the inning. So they've been held scoreless through five. We're through five. It's the Cardinals four and the Brewers nothing. Now here is Nolan Arenado, the third baseman. With this kind of lead, Nolan. he can swing freely, Arenado. try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. They well, always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. And now the 0 1. That one missed. And a 1 1. And another ball. The pitch. That one lifted to left. Eager. Are oh, you kidding me? It. Puts the squeeze on that one. Then there's one down. Now battle. The first What's underneath it or something? They look good. It felt good. And next is the Cardinals four hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here. That's Walmart. good timing. So that should have been a no-doubter. You missed out on a big moment early on. Swing nah, that's gone. That's the second. That's field. gone. That's the second home run. Come on. Another homer. And they add on. It's five zip. Second in the Seeing game. The ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. I should have been back to back home runs with Nolan and Goldie. And pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. The batter, number 11. Short stop. Swings Paul. through that one. 0 oh, oh, 1. The pitch. Easy. Movement in the bullpen. Brent Suter getting ready to go. Oh. 
Next one is off the play. That and was close. One and, two. and a pitch. Swing and a line drive caught. You kidding me? The left fielder, number 25, Sam. Here's Hilliard. a speed threat, Sam Hilliard. A strikeout and a walk. That's a double. Base hit. Around first, heading for two. He's there. It's a two out double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. Now and he's jogging around the, the bases base rather than pulling up at Pulls second. Against, well, away from the shift. They're playing the shift on him. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And Wong, you need to get going even after injuries you had. You haven't, what am I swinging at? You haven't been getting it going, man. Next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Hilliard on its second with two down. Ah. Left side. Taylor in position. And that'll do it. a pitch and fouled off next pitch downstairs and the count is one and one and the righty deals so a foul ball makes it one and two Line of the pitch. I don't miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least your so far, please. not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Chris, Chris, Chris and you, and you lose your starting Chris position or something? One out, the base Having you coming off the bench? Or they haven't, they're one. not having you play in this first game. And when you think about have you played the, the rest of the series. Kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And here it comes. Well, that's it. Last seven games, he had three home runs and they sit in you. Pretty sure they need your bat. And one and two. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. And now two and two. Left hand hitter waits. Bro. And you go take a seat. Strikes he goes. That's the second out. Now it's the second baseman, the Tommy Edmond. Second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Hey. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Two down, nobody on. In the air to left, down the line. Hilliard makes the catch, and that'll do it. Another easy one, two, three for you, my boy. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. It's five, nothing. Getting here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And he deals. Ripped on a line, and it drops in. But Lefty don't mean nothing. In front. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun the at the plate for him, so that one has to Sunny. feel good. I could watch Great. base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's the pitcher, Sonny Gray. Why? I got the whole triangle early before he pitch. Runner at first with no outs here. Trying to move him over here. Good bunt. Good bunt. On he almost overdo that. Out as the pitcher does the job. Sack bunt executed perfectly. Now batting the right fielder, a kill, Badu. And up next for St. Louis, Akil Badu. Fouled off left side. He almost had him a second home run. Walters, the runner at second with one away. Next one misses, one ball, one strike. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. One -one. Ow. Swing and a miss. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. 2-2 two -two now. They say it went. No, I didn't. Over to Cooper. And there's two down. You a lie, huh? Now batting the center fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. And that one off the outside edge. No, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Next pitch inside. And that's ball three. I'm still swinging 3 0. Two outs. And one in scoring position. You hang one, I'm bang one. That's not banging it. Lays out. He's got it. The throw. I should have let that pitch go. That's a great play. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch position. He put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Gray, back to.
to work. That misses. Ball one. The pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Wong gloves it. The throw to first. And right, they get the leadoff out. hitter in the seventh. The batter, number two, shortstop, Luis Urias. So up next, Luis Urias. He went. Check swing on the first. I go, he goes. Out of first. And that's a swing, according to umpire Mike Fillmore. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now that the center fielder, Joey. Gallo. And now it's Joey Gallo. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. And it's even up. That's Ooh. downstairs and outside. Come on, man. You gotta give me those. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Oh. Stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. And he chases that ball. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Brewers go down quietly. Still looking at that 5-0 deficit. Nolan Arenado. The third baseman. Nolan Arenado. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. Two misses to even the count. And now two and two. Now That's a screamer in the get outfield. Caught. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting the first base. Paul Goldsmith. Put off on it. Now up the Holy my man. Player. Paul Goldschmidt. Two home runs in this game. Ready, so could he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Let's do it again. Shit. And he looks pretty locked in right now. Oh, he's going to do it again. He's going to get his third right here. Mmm. Got away with it. No. No way. Oh, my God. That was almost his third one. Safe at second with a double. 
third hit for him this afternoon. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. I was late on it too, but if I right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. That was almost his third. Digging in, Paul DeYoung. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Kicks and deals. Swings through that. What? Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Shane Green up and throwing. Don't tell me you. Goldie over at second, one down. Of course. Anything good time and you miss it. Next pitch is inside. One and two to count. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Typically Young, you, you become cold on me. Close to the top of the strike zone. A hitter. If he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitters internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss now here is Sam Hilliard first offering misses the mark Runner leads away at second. And now it's even up. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Gonna count one and two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes, and that'll do it. The Cards leave one, but they hold a 5-0 lead. With the right hater back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. Just missed. The wind to kick the 2-0. Chapman gets a piece there. And the right-hander deals. And that's through there for a strike. Two balls, two the wind of the pitch. Out to short. De Young collects it. Rolls across uh -huh. the diamond. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now that the first baseman, Jared. Cooper. And here's the first baseman, Garrett Cooper, one for two. <whistles> and that's in there for strike one. And yeah, him is a self average with both pitchers, lefties and righties. In the air, right side. Get back, get back. Oh He's my goodness. Away. Now batting. The left fielder. Tyrone. Next for the Brewers, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. First pitch, okay, and he just misses. Two outs. 
That one drifts Ooh, inside. Where is that missing? In recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Rolled over to third, and it gets by him. That's all right. That hit me is nothing. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, dude, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Runner at first with two away. Jose Trevino up now for the Brewers. Check swing went around. And it's 0 and 1. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. The pitch. Slow roller up the middle. Oh. Fires over to first. Enough time with your nine speed. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Cardinals five and the Brewers nothing. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Golly, you get the slowest changeup. Here's the 0 2. And a swing and a line drive in the right field. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So, man aboard. Too early on Here's it. the catcher, Tony Walters. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. Left hand batter waits. Pitch misses. One and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Shane Green, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. So now one and two. That change, it looked like it was right there and it just sucked. After that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. And here it comes. No. Walters checks his swing. Appeal down to third. He did not go around. Got him looking and one away. Good pitch. Sonny Gray. Next up for the Cardinals. They him. Sonny Gray. No, why not? Why not let you go to complete any? In the dirt. Kicks away from the catcher. To second, but way too late. Safe there. I, two corners playing in. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. Ma will just swing away. And one and Let two. me get you a change it, my boy. Maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. 
2 2 now. The other way. And Air ball. Base hit oh. right there. Let's go. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. He's in. It's himself a double. And RBI. A comes in to score. Now that. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Akil Badu next up for the Cardinals. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Gray, the runner at second with one away. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And there are two down. You know, it should know weight back just as useful for a on a changeup like yours. And as you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Tyler okay, O'Neal. Next up for the Cardinals. You need at least get a hit, man. First pitch just misses. And there's a foul ball. You just been off lately, my man. The one one. And that one fouled off. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. A 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cardinal Six. Oh, Diaz. Gray back to work. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. And for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak. Oh, he come in, pinch it. Let me tell you, that's no and continue easy his streak like this that. He's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. Up now for Milwaukee, Tommy Edmond for the fourth time tonight. And first offering is fouled off. Hit on the ground might be two. No. Balance speed, there's one. Throw to first, safe. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. I was running towards first. I should have just went to first. got it there in time to get that out at second base. Now batting Jonathan Davis. First offering misses the mark. Nah, this is a double play. Over to Wong. And All game. Play to Three, nine inning. Only gave up three hits. Shut you out. Nine to four. He's the only one in our rotation is doing something. Goldie with two home runs in this game. Adu with a home run too. He almost had his third too.
so we win. We are now on a four game win streak. But that's gonna not gonna last. If we can sweep them. It's four game. You see in three. Two. One. You gotta be kidding me. We win the first game and we lost three straight. What is this? I'm gonna keep the momentum going from last game. Really mad. Describe your franchise person. I know you're out there. I'm gonna be start slapping some people. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I know what the bottle looks like.